Morino has brought out a study looking at the history of pain around the lumbopelvic region in pregnant women during the perinatal period. Now, this is a really hot topic. Women who have pregnancy, who are pregnant, will eventually develop back pain in some cases. And when they do, no one knows what to do. I mean, what do you do? You can't do your standard treatments because it's going to mess up the baby. But then what they've done is they've looked at the progression of this. And what they find is there's four different types of pain. The first is going to be your standard back pain. The next will be a sacroiliac joint pain. The next is a pubic pain. The next is a groin pain. And what they find is the sacroiliac joint pain increases the most from 12 to 24 weeks. And then from there, 24 weeks and above, the pubic pain suddenly increases. Throughout this, pubic and groin pains will sharply increase during pregnancy, but back pain may remain the same. So now the question is, what do we take home from this? It's a historical study, right? But the crux here is there's multiple types of pain. One. Two, some of those pains don't really change, like a low back pain. But a sacral leg joint pain can increase, and this is expected. I mean, you have relaxin progesterone all increasing in quantity, the ligaments become lax, the gra gravid uterus keeps on stretching the anterior abdominal wall, and whether in a sway back or a kyphotic lorotic posture, either way, they're going to have strain across these joints. And that pain in the SI joint from 12 to 24 weeks is no surprise. At some point, it's going to be pushed so hard it can't generate pain anymore, at which point that center of mass change and gravity will start affecting the pubic joints and the groin. What's the take-home point from this? One, there's multiple types of pain. Two, these are treatable types of pain once you know what you're dealing with. 